Hello friends, my name is Gisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. This video tutorial is continuation of my previous video. There we had started exploding uh, Java date time API and we started, I mean, uh, huge cases for local date. So these are the huge cases we have seen in previous video tutorial. Now I'm, I'm going to refactor this code and put into separate method like get sorry get local date demo one so i have kept this code into separate method now next use cases we are going to see for local date itself local date so now here we are going to see local date has a parse method so here we are going to pass today's date so today is 2017 and month is march and today is first march and here we can get from local date uh, we can get the just we are passing the today's date and we can call the method like get get day of week day of month and day of year so let's go for the day of week and here this guy is going to return us day of week and return type would be something else So day of week, right? And this day of week we can print over here. And next thing we are going to see now we have a uh, again this date. dot we can see and then get sorry sorry get day of month and this will return us an integer now let's print these two things if i print okay day of week already we are printing over here now let's print day of month and check out output of these two use cases now if I run it so in the following two code example we parse the date today's date and get the day of the week and the day of the month respectively note the return values of the first is the object representing the day of week while the second is an int representing the ordinal of the month so basically this is representing the ordinal of the month so this is in the year then we have a date and then month so ordinal of january is basically i have written the uh, year month and day so uh, sorry so so this is this is year then month then day so i have used method get day of the month so this is the very first day of the month that's why we are getting one for this and and what's the day today so that day is getting printed that today is the wednesday so that's the huge cases of these two i hope you understood these two huge cases now let's go ahead and uh, java 8 uh, java 8 date time api also gives you flexibility to check with the today's day i mean to, to, I mean this year is leap or not or any specific year you want to check that is leap year or not so that you can check easily so let's check it out so we have a 
now we have a now method and this guys will return us the I um, mean this here I'm going to specify and this here you can check whether this is leap year or not right so I would say this year dot and we have a method is called is leap year so of course 2017 is not a leap year so this is gonna print you false now what I will do now we have a method I would say previous year and previous how will you calculate previous year so basically local date dot now dot you can say minus and I want to deduct one year now minus year here is a minus year you can say and one right and after that we will check this is uh leap year or not so then of course 2016 was an a leap year uh, a leap year so for this this is returning true so this way you can check whether a specific year is a falls under leap year category or not so this is the way to check that one now second thing if you want to compare two date whether first date is coming before or after then these things we can these two the relationship or date of the another can be determined to occur before or after another date and these things you can do like we have a local date dot you can say we have a parse method right parse method here you can pass date in uh, 2017 um, month month and this is a very first day now you can compare you can apply a method like uh, each before each before and another date you can pass right so here basically I'm just I am going to hard code but in this scenario you may have dynamic value now here I'm going to pass 2017 and second month fab and this is 2000 so is before so just this will return you the boolean value so if you try to print values for this similarly we can check method like is after similarly we have a is after right so you can check like this and you can print so first is returning false and second is returning true so saying that first march is before so of course this will return you true true, true uh, false right because this date comes before this so that's why this is guy returning false and second statement is returning as true right so saying that i mean first march 2017 is after 28th february 2017 so that's why this is returning as true right now next thing we are going to see uh, next huge case is so local date let's go to like this local date dot parse and here i'm going to <coughs> use a api is called at start day <coughs> sorry for this and here i'm going to print at start day and second thing i'm going to use dot 
start with and first we have a something is called temporal adjusters temporal adjusters dot first day of the month so temporal adjusters and we have a first day of first day of month and store this return of this value over here and So let's see what the output of these two. So see what the output is coming for this. For this output is coming to I mean first March of 2017. Something is called T, and after that time has given over here. So this is saying that uh, First March, first March 2007, first March 2017 has started at midnight of this date. So that's the beginning of this day. And output for second, we are getting a parts temporal adjuster dot first day of the month. Then first day of the month, first March itself. So make it uh, uh, 11 and try to do it for the first day of the month then this will of course return first march 2017 so these are the pretty straightforward so in these two huge cases basically date boundaries can be obtained from the given date in the following two examples we get the local date time that represents the beginning of the day of the given date and local date that represents the beginning of the month respectively so if you look into the start of the day so basically if you want to read about this api what does this api saying that combines this date with the time of the midnight to create a local date time at the start of this date so this returns local date time formed from this date at the time of midnight right uh, at the start of this day so basically any day starts on the midnight itself that's why that, that is returning the starting time of any date right and if you pass any date and uh, what is the first date of this month so that is going to return by the second exa uh, example so that's all i want to discuss about the local uh, uh, date so we have seen a lot of huge cases of local date so i will encourage you to uh, there are a lot of api you can see in the local date class and uh, we have seen most of the apis but i will encourage you to explore i mean rest of the api which i haven't touched or i haven't discussed these api are are pretty straightforward so i am very much confident you can explore rest of the api yourself so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial so in this video and previous video we have seen how uh, how we can work uh, uh, how, how we can work as a uh, class is called local date so next video tutorial we are going to cover something a class is called something is called local time so we'll cover how we can work with this api uh, so see you there and thanks for watching this video